Chair of this session, Honorable Guest and Audience, Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Uh, I would like to present within a very short time entitled Preserving the Human Rights of Minority Study. Uh, dear audience, we know that minority is a buzzword in the international intel, uh, intelligence here. The word minority means any small group in a society uh, that is different from the rest because of the race, religion or political belief. A person who belongs to such a group. We know the concept of minority and majority are relatively recent uh, in its use, uses in present sense of discussion, although distinctions among communities, communities have obviously existed through the, uh, throughout the history. From very ancient, ancient to till date, the minority people are passing um, unspeakable or suffering moment over the world, uh, more or less. Especially, uh, I would like to discuss on uh, this uh, entitled paper, how can we establish their rights in true sense according to the Islamic viewpoint, uh, point of view and humanitarian ground as well as Badi Jaman Nursi's Dresala Nur's idea. Islam and human rights of minority, in a nutshell, uh, I would like to uh, uh, present in front of you the Islam is a religion of mercy to all people, both Muslim and non Muslim, religious and non religious people. The Prophet uh, was described as being a mercy in the Quran due to the message of, uh, he brought for humanity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, uh, I, you are the uh, mercy and symbol of uh, mercy for the humankind, not only Muslim or not only religious people or followers of Islam. So we can say that ideologically Islam gives us the best solution and direction to maintain the rights of minority people. Uh, Al-Quran says in, very in many places like this, uh, Surah 21 and verse 92 that this nation of youth is one nation and I am your Lord so worship me. In another place Allah SWT says and we have to send to you except as a mercy to the world for whole mankind. Prophet Wasallam also says be what? If anyone wrongs to constructing man or Diminishing, diminishes it, his right or forces him to work beyond his capacity to take from him anything without his consent. I shall plead for him on the day of judgment. Like this, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, practices his life and Rashidun and Islam history. We can see the symbol or example of. Uh, uh, protecting or preserving the human rights, minority human rights in uh, Muslim history. Now I would like to uh, discuss on uh, some points according to ideas of Badiism and Nursi on this point. In spite of knowledge, these Islamic doctrines in many Muslim societies, there are observed violation of minority rights. But why? Badiism and Nursi we should look at some of his philosophical points significant to human, be uh, human beings, national, political, cultural life that establishes human rights. The approach of uh, Sayyid Badizan Nursi to justice is a ground of his attitude towards state power and politics. The thinker formulates, uh, the thinker 
formulates five principles which are necessary, essential in order to save the social life and national from anarchy. First of uh, all, respect, compassion, refraining from what is prohibited or haram, security, the giving up of lawlessness and being obedient to authority. In these requirements are to be observed only if the politics of the present is not founded on self-interest. Unfortunately, the politics of civilization sacrifice the minority for the comfort uh, of the majority. Indeed, the uh, despotic minority sacrifices the majority of people for themselves. Politics which results around benefit is survival. He concludes on Nursi's concern for selfless politics and its necessity to establish minority rights. Now, we can say that the Islamic unity in the light of the Damascus sermons, uh, historic sermons of uh, Badiyazam and Nursi Rahimahullah, uh, he said uh, his statement close to the beginning of the second constitutional period 1908 to 1918, Isaiah and Sultan Rasad's tour of uh, Rumelia on behalf of the Stan province in our carries of the train, in, uh, train dis uh, discussion started with two friends without thought in the new secular schools and were well versed in uh, science. They asked me which is more necessary and should be stronger, religious zeal or national zeal. Uh, replied Sayyid Nursi, with us Muslims religion and nationhood are united, although there is a theoretical apparent and identical difference between them. Indeed, religion is the life and spirit of the nation. When they are seen as different and separate from each other, religious zeal uh, encompasses both the common people and under uh, upper classes, whereas national zeal is the left by one person but out of hundred, that is a person who is ready to sacrifice his personal benefits for the nation. Since this is the age, religious zeal must be the basis with regard to the rights of all people. While national deal must serve it and be its portrays. Generalizing above mentioned insights of Nursi, we can say that we have to build a society based on religious deal and lead by selfless politics. Both religious deal and selfless politics may establish a culture of equality and justice regardless of class Test and religious group. Uh, way of the maintaining the minority rights, I'd like to say that uh, there is no doubt that minority rights are achievable, but those are not to be gained effortlessly. So we work hard to establish a culture of selfless politics and true religious zeal, which is perhaps absent from our society, as well as self-determination of minority people is very important. Uh, I would like to uh, finish my presentation here and uh, I would like to say that uh, this is my so shallow study on the uh, Nutsi ideas on uh, minority rights but I uh, would like to try uh, I would like to present a, a little uh, presentation in front of you. Jazakallah uh, khair. Thanks to all. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.